Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player. Mitch plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. And look at this, we got a wall all the way around the Mesa City. I've been working hard on this. It goes down and around. And this is also the first Mitch plays Minecraft for 2017. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get used to that. So happy new year to all of you who are watching out there. And I've also got these awesome... Firework rockets, flight duration two, because we can fly now. This is what? Minecraft 1.11.2, where they've added this in. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's see. There we go. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha! This is too much fun. I've been playing around with it a little bit here and there just to kind of see how things work. And yeah, look at this. You can just fly and glide. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. It makes these elytra wings so much more useful. Look at that. We could just kind of build something off this way. We're kind of not generating new terrain, but kind of loading it in. Take a turn all the way back over here. Look at this. And then we can kind of go down and then up to kind of keep our momentum going. Use one every so often. And then we're kind of coming back into the view of the Mesa City. But yeah, I got the preliminary wall design up. We're going to fancify it a little bit more as time goes on. We can see it from this angle over here, too. Check this out. And then up. Let's see how far up we can go. Oh yeah, we're really high now. Whee! Let's get a good view of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Down and then up. So yeah, you still have the gliding motion of the elytra, but you can also pretty much just fly around. And it's a really cool effect. I like how they've done this. The elytra was kind of weak before because you had to use the punch bow. And I was never really good at that. But now, see, we could just fly over to this island over here anytime we wanted to. I don't know if there's anything over here. I did find one of these islands with a bunch of donkeys on it. I'd like to go revisit sometime. I don't think it was this one. But see, starting to lose momentum. Just fly a bit more. Of course, we're going to have to collect a bunch of gunpowder to make this work, you know, full time, all the time. I don't know how often I'll be using this. If it's like, you know, really good replacement for ender pearls. I don't know. I've seen some people do like the swimming thing. Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at that. We're swimming like super fast now. Oh, lost a little momentum. Can we get out of the water? Whee! Yep. <laughs> this is. I could just do this the whole episode, but we probably shouldn't. Now that we've got the most awesome feature out of the way, let's get to building. I wanted to build a little house up here where all the trees are, our little tree farm. And I thought I'd do it right here. We kind of got the basics laid out here, size-wise. I mean, this is all, all could change, depending on what all we do up here. But I like it. It's got a good size to it. We can actually do something up here. So let's go ahead and start laying out some of these. Do too high on this. Chicken, you're going to end up getting stuck in here if you don't move it. That's okay. We might have a pet chicken. But yeah, I really like the new flight mechanic in the game. Using the fireworks. Kind of gives you a reason to make fireworks. And gives you another reason to use gunpowder up. I'm going to use up all my gunpowder. I need to go back to our original like castle town there. Work on that mob farm. Make it a little more efficient so we can gather up more gunpowder. Because I can just see myself doing that for fun. Just flying around going wee. It's it's really fun. If you haven't tried it out yet, you have to. It's it's amazing. All right, so we got a little build station set up here. Let's see. put this over here. I guess we'll just kind of go with getting the basic setup here going, and then we'll modify it and kind of make it our own. But as with all the rest of these buildings around here, I kind of have a basic way we get started which is to build 
like the sandstone box around the birch wood box. And then we can shape it after that. Okay, this is what progress looks like. Eh? Eh? Do we like it? We still have more work to do, but I brought a little trail all the way around here. All the way around this side, which is rather dull. All the way around here, which is kind of dull too. i got to figure out what we're going to do on this side though, to keep like mobs and things from crawling up this side to get to our villagers and other things. But we won't worry about that right now. Then this kind of leads back up this way. And I also made it kind of trail off this way too. Oh, I forgot to put down steps. Do we still have, let's see. Yeah, we got some jungle wood slabs here. We'll just plop those down right here. Yeah, that'll work. Then over here, we'll kind of go like that. There we go. That works. I kind of want to put one in the middle there, but I don't think it's really necessary. And that kind of put it too close to here, too. But yeah, I think we like that. Then coming off this way. So yeah, it kind of helps shape things off a bit here on the back end. So that way we wouldn't just have like nothing going on back here. Although I'm not sure how often we'll wander back this way. Now let me show you the inside of the building. We walk in here, shut the door, put a little extra storage in here. Just to store a couple of things I was playing around with. I was thinking of adding a room like right here. This could be like the bedroom. And then... From this way, we can go up to the roof. And then I think I may be putting like saplings down right here. And then fixing it some way where they can't grow. Maybe putting like some kind of top on this. I don't know. That's something we're going to have to play around with. Because the idea here is this is going to be like the woodworker's house. Or at least where he comes to do his woodworking. So let's go ahead and finish this wall out here. I think it might make more sense if we work on the interior a little bit. Now let's go ahead and add this in here. Boop and a boop. There we go. We got our own little individual room here. Now as far as a window goes, I mean, we could add one like right up here. That's what I was thinking. And then we'll put a piece of fence in there. Do I have any fence here? No. But that'll give us something going on on this side. We don't have to have everything for perfectly perpendicular, even, and all that. We'll just throw this up right here. Bloop. And there you go. And then with these stairs, we can just kind of finish that off there. And then here we could put some kind of little work table, maybe? I don't know. I mean, we got crafting tables here. We could put them up, like, maybe, like, up here. Oops. Then down here, do some sort of little table. Do I have a different wood type? I think I want some other kind of wood, which is very easily gotten right here. And we want to do orange. Orange might be a bit much. How about spruce? Grab a little bit of this. Put that back over here. And... There we go. Okay. Do this. Make some stairs. Then add that in like here. There we go. It's like a little work table. We could even add in a little more detail right here if need be. I don't know what we'd add back there. Hmm. Yeah, let's just leave it for right now. Because, I mean, we already have these going on here. It'd look a little strange if we had that going on again. Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. I think I brought... Yeah, we have these note blocks. That would add a different texture, at least, going on right there. Then right here, we could add in something, too. Like, have that one go here. Then there. There we go. Now that looks a little bit more like a little woodworking area, perhaps. I like that. 
We have bookshelves to work with, too, if need be. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's take out this corner here. Add some of that. That doesn't look bad. I think it helps to kind of introduce the wood theme into this building because this is where all your, like, loggers go to hang out. Or at least the town logger. Hmm. This is kind of dull right here. We could add some kind of painting, maybe. Did we have any... Oh, yeah. I've got 30 paintings. No. There we go. All right. I like that. And we might go ahead and use these up by going... Like this, and like this. That gives us a little table. Um, we got a flower pot. A stick right there. This leads over to here. This leads into the bedroom. We could kind of move that chest maybe over to here. Let's just stick one of them right there. That's where he put all of his stuff before he goes to bed. And then on this side, maybe we can use some bookshelves. Like maybe up the side here. That looks good. I almost want to add a little desk, but we're running out of room quickly in here. Hmm. Maybe if we went with, I don't think I have any trap doors. But I can easily make some. We go like that. Then add that like right here. There we go. Now it's like a little shelf up there. That works. I mean, everything is going to be kind of tight in here. Not a lot of room to move around, but... I like how cozy it kind of looks. There we go. Got a painting on the wall. We've got light in here. All is good. So how do you like it now? I cut down all the trees around here just so we kind of get a better look at things here. And I do like it. I think we've got a good thing going on here. Added in a couple more external details here. Just kind of changed up the pattern a little bit on the outside walls. Just so they didn't look too blah. And a big window right here. Let's see, what else did we add in here? On this side, we've got another big window. I didn't notice that one was so much, you know, it's so close to this one over here, but we still tried to mix in a couple of different block types just to kind of change things up a bit. I think that looks okay, like looking at it from over here. You know, it's got some texture to it. It's something different. It's something, you know, draws your eye towards the window mainly. But then you also have like this little pattern over here. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking a little too much about it. Then if we wander off this way, we've got a little bit more uh, symmetrical thing going on here, which isn't bad. You know, I kind of had like the small window over here and then the large one over here, but I thought that would look better. And I think it does. I think we did a good job with that. Now let's take a quick tour of the inside. As you saw before, we've got tables set up in here. And a whole bunch of saplings. I emptied out some of these chests here and there. We got like a little work area here. Oh, I hung up an axe on the wall, which I thought was kind of cool. Here's a view from that window. And here's where this window ended up. We could end up putting some more stuff here, I guess. I don't know. You know, I think I'm done with a building and then I think of another idea and I'm like, oh yeah, we could do that. That would look great. I ended up hanging the zombie axe since it was nearly used up in here. In the little makeshift bedroom, we got chest right there. And then the bookshelf and like little desk or shelves, whatever you want to think of them as, right there. Now I'm going to tell you what my idea was, and I don't know if we'll move forward with it or not. We might try it out and see how it looks. But I was thinking about adding like a little tree canopy, maybe like coming from this back corner here. And like stretching across on the top of it. I think it might kind of help theme the building a bit more. Or it could end up looking really stupid. I don't know. 
I kind of like things how they are. Oh, I didn't show you the roof. Let's jump up there. Well, I guess we can take the stairs. Aha! Here we go. This is what I had in mind. Like, they're coming up here, like, working on the saplings, like, making sure they're the right breed and everything. Do saplings have breeds? I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, it's a simple little thing up here, just to kind of add another part of the building. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. Thinking we could add to that, but I'm not going to right now. Let's instead, you know, take one more look at this. I think we we did a good job on this today. I'm very happy with our progress. Have very minimal cleanup. We've got, what, the two shulker boxes over here. I'll have to put all that stuff up and all this stuff up. But that's fairly easy now. Actually, I can go ahead and pick those up. Doop and doop. Let's put them over here. Eh, extra bones. I'll do something with you. But yeah, and this will look a little more fleshed out once I put all the trees and stuff back from the tree farms. But you might be wondering, what's this hole doing here? I've been looking at this all episode and didn't know what it was for. I'm about to show you. I made a bit of a villager breeder. You know, looking at various designs and ideas out there. I didn't copy just one. I just kind of... I looked at how people were doing it and tried to figure out a way of getting it done. And I think I have... All except they all stay in this one little corral that we've built back here. You people may remember from previous episodes this big empty room. And yeah, it's filling up with villagers. I had two in here to start out with. And a bunch of potatoes. And we're still getting babies. Like, see, there's two babies right there. The only problem is I tried to have them filter out through this corner over here. But none of the babies seem to, like, separate from the parents now. I don't know if that's a new change from this most recent update. Oh, yeah, we've got one villager down there with, uh, I think it's six doors. Just so these guys keep breeding because they keep seeing the village down there and thinking, oh, that village isn't full. Let's keep breeding. But we're going to run into a problem of this filling up fairly quickly. And I've got to figure out something to do with this. Either filter the villagers out or just have them like spill off into the town over there which is creating another issue of you know making sure this place is safe enough for villagers to be roaming around without getting out into the desert like see we have this area over here where they could climb out and then jump over the wall i tried to shave some of this back keeping that kind of idea in mind but i don't know we may still have to do some little bit extra work. And we also have things coming from the mountain into here, like zombies and skeletons and creepers. So I don't know what to do with that. Do we just not have villagers roaming around in here? Do we just, you know, say good luck? Because we're going to have to close off some areas too. Kind of like, well, the mines here eventually will have to close down so they don't go wandering throughout all the little tunnels we made. And then over here, we've got the same kind of problem where we'd have to make some kind of barricade or wall or something going on here where they couldn't just climb up and just run off into the mesa by themselves. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what we got, you know, going here. I had one more project in mind while it's getting dark. I was kind of wanting, I found one of the skeleton horses. I had to like four of them spawn like right outside the village. I wish I would have got it on camera. I did not though. They're like right over there. And I was only able to save one of them. The other ones died or drowned. So let's see if we can get over here to him. Here we go. And I was thinking this guy should really be moved into the nether. Because you know it's more nether related to have a dead horse to ride around on is what I'm thinking. But we're going to have to figure out a way to get him in there first. Hmm. Actually, let's sleep. I mean, he could fit through here. I just have to kind of break down my front door, pretty much. And then shove him through here. Let's go ahead and go to sleep real quick. See if we can get that done to end today's episode. Because I don't know, I think that would be really cool. 
So let's chop away some of this and some of that. Get rid of this. Do we have to? No, we could probably just do that. Oh, well, there we go. So let's see if we can get the nether horse into the house. Okay, can we get through here? Yep. Well, well we just need to go here. Okay, now let's turn this on. All right, and hopefully he doesn't suffocate and die. Are we going? Can I not ride you into the nether? I probably can't. Let's just get you super close and then kind of push you in. There we go. Okay, now let's follow. Hopefully we don't kill him because this is the only one we've got. Oh no, oh, get out. There we go. Okay, good. Now we'll have to swap him out for this one. Let's put you over here for now. And then, oh, you, you're hurting. It's okay, you'll heal up. You sitting there. All right, yeah, that looks more it's suitable for the nether. I guess you can come back to the village now. Do you want to come back to the village? Hopefully we don't, how much health do you have? Oh, you're pretty good on health. All right, let's see if we can get you in here. There we go. We're just doing horse swapsies. And you're in. All right, excellent. Let's get through here. Hmm. I guess we'll just stick him in here for now. And then jump back out here. We need to find more places to stick our horses. We've got two over here. And I think we've got two over here too. And then I've got one up there where I've stored all the chickens. So that may be what we do next episode. Is that what you want to see? We're kind of a little bit of a horse corral area. Some place to at least get them parked. Because yeah, we got this guy up here now. And then we've got... If we can get around... Um, well, we can just jump down here. And then we've got two more horses over here. So we're getting, you know, a good collection of horses going here. But I think that's probably going to be all the time I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time.